Aloha, everybody, and welcome back to part 10 of Bully. We just had a fantastic run of photography class, I guess. And uh, <laughs> now we're going to go take up the preppies on their offer. You remember at the very beginning of Chapter 2 and one of them said that they like to box the noble sports and all that? Yes. Well, actually, first, wait, wait. Oh, I actually oh, have to right. change my mind right now because... I forgot that I got a transistor a while back. You're gonna build up some new moves before you take on the preppies? Oh yeah, it might help. It might help a lot. Mm-hmm. That'll do. You ready to train? I suppose you want to train again. You already said that. This was my favorite combination. Yes, this'll definitely help me in the boxing match. <laughs> I think, like... Legs seems to be illegal in boxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but at least I have that. That is actually one of the better uh, moves that Jimmy has. I find anytime I want to get into a fight with a big guy, the leg sweep almost always stuns them quite a bit. So I find I would just like punch, leg sweep, punch, leg sweep, punch, leg sweep. And I would be pretty dominant throughout the entire fight. So that's one of the best moves in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree as well. Because, like, anytime it's a big guy, they don't necessarily fall down, but they always, like, stun and fall. Like, they fall over. They lean over, you know? Like they're stalled. Yeah. And you just get a nice free hit to knock them about. But the preppies, they like to box here at this gym in old Bullworth Vale. The Bolt Gym! I, oh, motherfucker. What are you doing? <laughs> Have a wedgie, asshole. I, oh shit, I didn't mean to touch you. I didn't mean to touch you. <laughs> yeah. you might I gotta go. go but... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the cops would have arrested me if I stayed out there, so. <laughs> yeah. You're safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, folks, this is where the preppies hang out. Uh, they have a boxing stadium, I guess. They're rich. They can afford anything. Their mommy and daddy, you know. Gave them memberships. Yeah. They got these weights here, and that reminds me so much of San Andreas, and I just want to lift weights, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so we got boxing challenges here, which can actually increase your punching strength if you do them correctly, which makes the game a little bit easier, because then you can knock down people a lot faster than you normally would. Although, Bully's not that challenging of a game that you need it, really. Nah. And uh, over here is where we're going to progress the story, and we're actually going to do... A boxing tournament where the grand prize is a dream home in the Vale worth one million dollars. <laughs> fancy. Very fancy. That sounds like something I need to own. Hmm. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. We want blood. So ladies and gentlemen, there is a boxing minigame in Bully. And now we're going to be competing in this boxing tournament by taking on three opponents in a row. And, uh, this is sort of like Punch-Out. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Um, you can dodge, you can block, in addition to punching. Mm -hmm. It's like wherever you flick the analog stick when you dodge, you can dodge to the left, you can dodge to the right. Sometimes you can just dodge behind wherever you are. So you don't actually have to move in a certain direction. But the other thing the game doesn't really tell you, because there's no real tutorial is that if you hold the square button, you will build up a, a super punch. So, like, you have regular punches that you can do, but if you hold the button, you will hit way harder, and then uh, you'll deal out a lot more damage. So every time I'm actually dodging people, every time I dodge them, I'm actually building up a super punch. I'm actually holding square instead of tapping square, and that way it, like, makes them... and makes them hold their stomach, and then I could get a whole bunch of, like, five punches in on them every time I do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll do a round against Ooh, super punch, 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 punch! Look how much health I drain when I do that. Oh yeah. And then when their health bar is low enough and they're installed, you can hold the square button to knock them out and get a win. What's your favorite flower, Jimmy? Mine's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mastered Punch-Out for the Wii. I think I got this. I think I got this. Who do you think you are, Justin, taking on the champ? <laughs> <laughs> a good match. 
<laughs> I'm more for the street than you. What was that? I'm more for the street than you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, I don't really feel there's any specific strategies that I really have to impart. It's just... Whenever they bend over, they're gonna do their own super punch. And that's when I usually dodge at the moment they're about to swing, like that. I do a super punch of my own, and then I just do a five-hit combo if I can. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't matter how much health they have, how strong they are. They all have pretty much the same kind of strategies. So these three fights are not really that different from each other. It's not like one of them's like King Hippo, and you can only punch him when his mouth is open, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty simple. When they try to do a super punch, I dodge, I do my own super punch, pa 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 pa, and that's pretty much it. This strategy still works for when you're just doing the regular boxing stuff to increase your punch strength, and uh, yeah. So if you want stronger punches, do some boxing. Also, when you when you actually get the most uh, punch strength from these events, then you can just return to boxing to get like 20 bucks every time you win a fight. So if you want an easy 20 bucks, you can just fight and fight and fight and fight as long as you want in the Bullworth Vale gym. Hopkins, you're pathetic. I'm pathetic. <laughs> I also I also find it like really difficult to take damage in the boxing mini Yeah, Jimmy honestly. has a lot of health. Yeah, it's so easy to like block and dodge. <laughs> yeah, he's not like Little Mac, where it takes like a good four punches to knock him down. Like, yeah, Jimmy is a, a brick shit house. He can just take anything. He really is the toughest kid in the school. <laughs> I mean, if he was from expelled from like what seven schools, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I would imagine he's very tough. I really want to know what's up with that. I wish they went into that backstory. I want to know what the hell he did to get expelled from seven schools. That sounds like a good idea for a new bully game. Huh? Rockstar? Huh? Huh? Yeah. You can count on Jimmy. Hmm, there's a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. So we don't have a million dollar home, but we have a beach clubhouse! We get to live where the lighthouse is! This does not look abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good, right? It's very nice, yeah. So we have another save location very similar to the dorm, where we can sleep, where we can change our clothes, where we can, uh... I bet you can't beat my swimming record. You just don't have the poise. Motherfucker. Alright, let's do it! <laughs> This guy thinks I can't beat his swimming record? I'll prove him wrong right here and now. <laughs> I just won three boxing matches in a row. I'll take you on. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this guy know that I have the stamina of Steve Rogers? <laughs> 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 but yeah, just you have a whole bunch of save locations you can open up and eventually have to sleep wherever you want and change your clothes wherever you want so you don't always have to go to bed at the school you don't always have to go to bed at the dorm if you want to stay in you know new coventry or you want to stay in bullworth vale you unlock these places and then you have a whole bunch of places to you know strong houses like if you're out late and you don't want to go back to the dorm before like you know curfew oh right right Jimmy could pass out if you stay up past 2 a.m. Yes. <laughs> Something we haven't mentioned before. But in that case, if you don't want to, if you want to, like, avoid that, then they're the safe places around the map that you can go to. Yeah. Jimmy, he, he's very, he's got a lot of stamina, but he can't stay up past 2 a.m. He always just, like, drops wherever he is. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, one time I was at, at the carnival winning, like, prizes. And, well, we'll see the carnival, don't worry. Stay tuned next week. But, uh, I was at the carnival getting prizes, and, like, I wasn't really paying attention to the time, and then it, like, got all crazy, like, because he got tired. Uh, like, and in my experience, I was literally making out with Pinky. <laughs> and I, I wanted to test this, so at 1.55, I approached Pinky and started kissing her. And then when the clock struck two, he just dropped dead. <laughs> <laughs> or at least dropped to sleep. <laughs> the kiss was just that good. Mm -hmm. It was just the most amazing kiss he ever had in his life. He couldn't <laughs> handle it. It was so much euphoria. So much euphoria. 
<laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> when I did that swimming event just now, I won some, uh, I won a nice swimsuit, so I figured I'd show it off. Look at Jimmy boy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back in our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh boy, what a day. As always, if you want to get to class, you can still hit the bus stop signs to immediately warp to the school. Like, the time doesn't change at all. The school bus just gets there in, like, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're using, you know, light speed technology like Han Solo. Now we're doing chemistry four. On my desk as you enter. Gotta keep oh, doing these classes. They're almost done though. No. Oh, well. There's only five classes per per uh, you know, subject. So. Just don't spill the hydrochloric acid Good like my work. friend did in high school. Uh oh. Mhm. Mm yeah. What did that do? So um, hydrochloric acid is basically like this thing that you can do with hydrations for chemistry people out there so me and my friend were doing this lab uh -huh. and he spilled the chemical on one of our friends <laughs> <laughs> so she had to go in the shower and it was like a big deal and my apparently my chemistry teacher just still tells that story even like seven years later <laughs> oh man i just knew like in school like anytime we were in science right, there were so many so idiot girl. kids who were not wearing their goggles yeah <laughs> Like, Mr. Miller would just constantly tell them, like, you know, there's an eye-washing station right there, and you'll probably need to use it. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone use it? <laughs> I, I never saw anyone actually, like, spill anything into their eyes. They they generally wore their goggles, but mm -hmm. I have heard stories that one person was just so stupid, and he, he just thought, oh, this will be fine. Got it in his face. Oh, <laughs> Well done. Kids are dumb. Kids are dumb. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, English 4. So, um, again, it gets a little this bit more hard. complex. Yeah. This one is hard. I, I find, you know, there's no S's, so I can't do any plural words. And, you know, it seems like you would be so simple, because it's well, like no. you only have six letters. And look at all the three letter, uh, the three letters options that there are. That's right. You look at that and you go, oh, this should be simple to figure out. And then it's, you're actually doing it and it's like... I don't know, my brain just decides to fail me. <laughs> Good it's like all of a sudden I'm looking at it and I'm just like, Oh, come on, I should know this. I should know this. Why don't I know this? There's like a minute left. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't help that they give you like, they give you some weird consonants to work with. Yeah. Well done. They throw a lot of words that you probably wouldn't use in your vocabulary too much. Nope. Like they're simple words, it's just... You wouldn't use them in your everyday vocab. Yeah. I don't often think about Noah's Ark. So I'm looking at ARC. It was just staring me in the face and I didn't use it. Actually, Ark is spelled A-R-K. Keep it up. ARC oh, would be the mathematical God. Ark. <laughs> oh, no. See, this is the problem about doing a game about school. You always expose how dumb you are. <laughs> well, it has been a while since you've been in school, so I don't blame you. <laughs> Kids, I am not an English teacher. I am not good at the English. I say house correctly. No. But I'm not good at the English. No, you, no, you don't. <laughs> I absolutely say house no, fine. No, you don't. We've gone over this so many house. times. It is house. You live in a house. No, it's house. You live in... That's what I'm saying. I'm saying exactly what you're <laughs> no, saying. No, you're not. You're saying house. I'm saying it like house. I'm saying house. I taught English <laughs> in Japan. I should. I I know this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Got your crazy elite teachers think they know how words are spelled. <laughs> puh, puh, puh. Puh, puh, puh. <laughs> but luckily, I passed with like six seconds left. That one was kind of. Ugh, I was starting to sweat with this one. This one was a little tricky. Yeah. But we did it! <sighs> we passed English 4. Thank God. And what do we get for our troubles? We get the ability to do better taunts. Makes sense, you know. Now you've made me mad. You learn more English. You become more eloquent. Stupid, so your you insults did. become more... in-depth. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no 
I'm gonna kick your ass, Jimmy. Fuck you. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power we've gained. But uh, yeah, folks, in part eleven. What do we do in part eleven? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's for you. Anyway, folks, I'll see you back for part eleven. <laughs> <laughs>